Well, currently right now, if a citizen or a patient suffers cardiac arrest, we have to actually perform manual CPR. But in the best situation, performed in a lab setting, you're only going to get about 25% of what the heart actually does, doing perfect manual CPR. This device is automatic CPR. It's a machine that performs CPR so you don't have to, but to the extent that it actually recovers the heart's purpose and provides the blood flow to the body to the extent of actually the, if the heart was never in cardiac arrest. Instead of doing CPR like we man mainly would with the hand over the sternum and compressing downward, this is a band that's wide and encompasses the whole thorax. And it, the heart, when it beats, it squeezes from the top, then squeezes from the bottom. It's like a dual action. Well, it's kind of what this band does. Not only does it cover and the, the entire surface of the thorax, but it also compresses and squeezes, almost mimicking what the heart does. So when you consider that, um, you, know, and you think about how all the technology and the mechanism and how that works, it, of course it's going to provide a better CPR, it's going to provide better blood flow, bl better uh, blood pressure, pulse rate. Eventually everybody gets exhausted and this is where the performance starts lacking with CPR. I'm tired, I'm not compressing enough, I'm not going fast enough. Don't have those worries with this device. Uh, it frees up a lot of people to do a lot of other things providing drug, drug you know, pharmacological care. Um, and uh, we don't have to take additional people to the hospital with us to rotate the CPR like we talked about. We don't have to do that anymore. Um, it's, it's gonna really reach into the new best practices of EMS.